what's the matter? I think I'm going to throw up. No, you're not. You're going to eat it. yucky. Your... It is not yucky, Billy. Eat it. Do you remember to bring the chocolate chip ice cream home? Yes, I did remember to bring the chocolate chip ice cream home, and you're not going to have any of it until you eat all your dinner and then eat your meat and your corn. Where are you going? You get back here right now. Did you hear me? You better not do that. You'd better stop right there, fella. I'm warning you. Hey! Did you hear me? Now, you listen to me. Don't be smart now. You go right back and put that back until you finish your dinner. I'm warning you, you take one bite out of that, you're in big trouble. Don't, hey, don't you dare. Don't you dare do that. Did you hear me? Hey, stop, hold it right there. You put that ice cream in your mouth, and you are in very, very, very big trouble. Don't you dare go anywhere beyond that. Put it down right now. I am not going to say it again. I am not going to say it again. Come on, now. You're never going to do this, Billy, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't concentrate. All right, come on. That a boy, that a boy. Get your center. Get your center. Okay? How does it feel? Good. Okay, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's terrific. Don't stop. Really, keep your feet moving. Oh, that's terrific. How do you feel? Good. You look great. I don't suppose it makes any difference to you, but there's a very weird Chinese guy up in Mike's room. Jenny don't hurt him. He's her new fiance. Mike. Stop it. This is the single worst day of my entire life. What the hell are you bitching about? I'm gonna sleep under some Chinaman named after a duck stork. Well, where am I sleeping? Sofa City, sweetheart. I don't understand. Well, the problem is, is that your mommy and I both want you to live with us, see? So that's why we decided to go see this man who, who I told you is the judge. And and we let him decide because he's very wise and experienced about these things. See, we talked to him for a few days, and, and after that, we asked him what he thought. You know what he said? He agreed with Mommy. He thought it would be a terrific idea if, if you move in with her and live there from now on. And I'm really lucky because I get to have dinner with you once a week. And two times a month, we spend the weekends together. Where's my bed going to be? Where am I going to sleep? Oh, well, Mommy's figured that all out. You have your own bedroom at her place? Where are all my toys going to be? The mommies. We're going to take all your toys over there. If you play your cards out of it, she'll buy you some new ones. Who's going to read me my bedtime stories? Mommy will. You're not going to kiss me tonight anymore, are you, Dad? No, I, w I won't be able to do that. But, you know, I'll, I'll get to visit. It's going to be OK. <laughs> really. I don't like it, Animo. What do you mean, if you don't like it? You're going to have a great time with Mom. Really, she loves you so much. Dad? Huh? Don't forget once if you can just call me up, OK? We're going to be OK. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go get some ice cream.